What is up everybody, Brian from the Geek Spasm here, coming with you with another mail call unboxing and today we have two new packages. One that I'm not going to throw on the table because this is fragile and I think I know what it is. And the other one is uh, like a little long. So I think I already know what's this one and I said in the other video it's Bradshaw and Farouk and I think it is. So uh, and I think this is a... Uh, um, what you call it, um, uh, the Ken Shamrock Jacks uh, figure. Only one way to find out, uh, which one you guys want me to open first. Uh, well, so, well, since I know what's this one, I'm gonna open that first. You guys saw it. Bradshaw Elite, Elite 38, and Farouk Elite 38. Here's the back of the packaging. I think I have that Daniel Bryan's. I think, I'm not sure. I think. And I have uh, Adam Rose. I've been wanting those figures for a long, long time. I'm still gonna get a, a JBL um, Elite, the Elite, I believe it's Elite 13 or something like that. I don't know, but I want it. Because some people, you know, like to, you know, buy their, you know, figures, you know, all boxed up. And some, you know, the sellers know that most of the, you know, most of the people like keeping their things mint on card. And I'm one of those people that don't care because I'm just going to open it right away. I don't see no point of keeping it on card. That's just me. Because I'm not a mint on card person, you know. I like to take my figures out of the box. But I still appreciate how they, how they take care of the thing. And I've, as And as I knew... It was the Ken Shamrock figure. Oh wow! And this is my very first. Ken, uh, this is my very first uh, figure that comes with this type of packaging, because when I usually buy my um, when I usually buy my uh, Jax figures, they usually are you know, you know, you know, used already, you know, and out of the packaging. But since there's no, I mean, there's there's so many shitty Ken Shamrocks on eBay. I couldn't find a good one, so I just decided to buy this one. It was a little expensive, but whatever. I'm a big fan of Ken Shamrock, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. And let's just see the back, because I'm new to this thing. It says the legends right there, classic superstar. Superstars, I mean. Watch for watch for more of your favorite classic superstars from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Ken Shamrock, debut 1990. Weight to 23, uh, 235 pounds. Height, 6 six uh, feet and six feet one finishing move ankle lock and titles inter intercontinental and i believe that is a shitty looking intercontinental belt i'm probably gonna uh store that away i don't really don't need it because i already have a good looking one collect them all and right here you have kevin ash but in his diesel outfit for some reason barry windham I, I don't know very much about him but he uh i think he was the Texas Tornado or something like that, I don't know. Fabulous Moolah, Hulk Hogan, Rick Steiner. I might get that Rick Steiner, it looks pretty cool actually. I, if there's no Elite coming soon for a Rick Steiner figure, I might just get that one. IRS, now we have the, you know, the Elite version. Ken Shamrock and the 123 Kid. The, uh, oh yeah, and by the way, um, the funny part about this is that... Uh, I was, you know, I was trying to buy this Ken Shamrock figure back in December, but I, I couldn't. Oh, that was the next figure I was gonna get, but I couldn't get it because, uh, because of the issues I had. Now that I have it, uh, I call it a. They just announced that there's, there's gonna be a Ken Shamrock Elite, and I just hope. I'm hoping. I'm crossing my fingers. It's the one with the green outfit because I really like that outfit. This outfit's okay, but I prefer the green one, and the blue one. This is my third favorite outfit. I think he only has green outfits. I might be wrong, guys. All right, I'm not sure if you guys can see that right there. In the inside, there's something in there. I'm just gonna have to be careful with it. Oh, yeah. collectors, you know, collector. And this is series number 11. All right, guys, without further ado, I'm gonna open these guys up. And I'm gonna start with the Ken Shamrock figure. All right, guys, I'm back. And uh, as you can see, the, the Bradshaw and the Farouk figure are still in the packaging. Uh, before I get into this figure, I just want to, you know, and it comes with, you know, this, but before I get into that, I just want to say something out. Um, I ordered these two on eBay, and when I ordered them on eBay, um, 
the the photos clearly show that they had the sleeves you know this you know the variants with the sleeves because you know these two variants are not with sleeves I didn't notice that until I was about to open them it's a good thing I didn't open them I just contacted the seller I still didn't get a response from it I hope I hope and I'm, I'm hoping that uh he responds back as you know you know sends you know either gives me my money back or sends me the 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 actual figures that I ordered because you know I don't to be honest you know a lot of people would say oh what the hell it's just two figures well to me it, it just means a lot because you know because uh I don't like these variants of the of the figures because you know sleeveless is just horrible I do not like these figures at all like the I don't know it's just a thing about the you know and even Farouk's figure right there has a defect that I don't like and it has the the black line I don't know what that's supposed to be it doesn't even, it doesn't even shit you know whatever Blech. so yeah I'm gonna I'm hopefully uh, you know I'm gonna send these figures back and look it's already like you know it's all crooked already it was always like that so yeah um so I'm gonna go straight into the Ken Shamrock figure review all right so before I get into the figure review uh, I just wanted you know just point this out a little bit this is Ken Shamrock right there and uh, right on the side I noticed that it says this it says collect all 22 WrestleMania ticket promotions you know see back for details and then you read this whole thing I'm gonna stop right there you know you can pause it if you want whatever um Yeah, I'm guessing, you know, I don't know what's this for, you know, um, but I'm going to keep this. It looks cool, but uh, it probably doesn't, and I'll probably sell it on eBay. Right there, it's the WWE logo for all the legitness. This is the Intercontinental title that Ken Shamrock comes with, and as you, as you can tell, they're all big and bulky, and you know, all big for some reason, and it comes with that shitty uh, strap thing in the back. I'm not a fan of those. I don't need that. I'll probably sell it too on eBay. Or I'll probably do it on the giveaway. Hint, hint. Anyways, let's get into the Ken Shamrock figure. The face scan is amazing. I do like this head scan of Ken Shamrock. The arms are exactly like Adam Bomb's arms, except without the tattoo on the side. It says Shamrock on his wrestling gear. Then his boots. I like these. Oh, well, wow. They look good. They look really good. The knee pads. There's not really that much detail. Remember, this is Jax, and they weren't that good with figures. And I, I don't know why, but the legs look so fat and short, making him look that this makes him look really small. He was a small. I mean, uh, I think he was a small. No, he wasn't. He wasn't a small guy. Well, compared to the others, he looked kind of small. But uh, this is pretty small. <laughs> the, the, the legs are bad but it doesn't matter there's gonna be a Ken Shamrock Elite and I'm definitely gonna get that but for now this will do uh, so yeah all right that, I think that's it yeah I was gonna review the the APA but uh, I'm gonna have to send those back I hope I'll, I'll give you guys um, you know further information about that you know along the way uh, I was so looking forward to you know you know, I was so looking forward to these figures. One of my favorite of uh, figures. Two of my, you know, two of one, two of my favorite figures of this line. And uh, I finally had them, but now I have them as sleeveless variants. I hope I get my money back for them, you know, or I get my, you know, my two variants of them. But whatever, it's gonna have to do right now. So this has been, you know, a mail call unboxing number four, I believe it. Yeah, number four. Alright guys, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I thank you guys for watching. Alright guys, I'm out.